When we started our project with lifeboat simulation, simulation was not approved for use in lifeboat training. The training had to be done in sheltered waters and protected harbors. The difficulty, of course, is when a real incident occurs, that's not likely the situation that you'll be facing. So that's where the simulation comes in, is that in complete safety, we're able to replicate the experience of going through an actual emergency. As far as we know, we're the only manufacturer of lifeboat simulators on a commercial basis. It started in Newfoundland and Labrador and really directed at the Grand Banks operations. And that's where our first customers came from. I think a key benefit of working with the offshore oil and gas industry through our whole lifeboat development program and ultimately them becoming our customers is that they brought a business discipline to our company. They demand the best from their suppliers and we became one of those suppliers. So that challenged us to bring up our game. We have simulators in the United States, in Mexico, in Norway, and uh, we have a simulator just being sent to the United Kingdom. But I will say that the success in Newfoundland and Labrador and on the Grand Banks is still critical to our success. This will continue to be an area where we can work with the operators to develop new concepts, to prove technologies, and then to use that as the launch pad to bring it to other jurisdictions.